all for coming this evening. We know you're really uh, dedicated to have uh, made it. When we planned this event months and months ago, there was no home basketball game tonight. And so uh, I'm glad you were able to overcome the traffic and parking challenges to get there. I'm Carla Stoffel and I'm Dean of the University Libraries. And tonight is the fifth and final lecture in our series, Stories and Music of the Revolution. It's been really a great lecture series. And as it wraps up, we look forward to other upcoming programs and exhibitions. Tomorrow, um, if some of you are on campus, Special Collections will host the 13th Annual Milton Marathon, starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. And yes, students really do show up at 8 a.m. <laughs> and over the course of the next 12 hours, people will take turns reading from John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost. You're welcome to stop in. It'll be here in Special Collections. You can listen for five minutes or 12 hours. Uh, and you can even read if you uh, want to take a, a, a turn. The next exhibition, which will begin in January, will showcase Stuart Udall, our congressman from Arizona who served as Secretary of the Interior. He also, as a side note, played for the University of Arizona's very first basketball team in 1946. <laughs> Special Collections is privileged to house his papers, um, and he died earlier this year at the age of 90. There's always something interesting going on in Special Collections, and we want to thank the friends of the University of Arizona Libraries for sponsoring our exhibits and many of our unique programs. <coughs> They're also the one tonight to, to thank for the refreshments. So if you got here in time to have refreshments, it's courtesy of the Friends of the Library. If um, there are any Friends of the Library uh, board members or friends here, if you'd stand up, we'd like to thank you for being here. Muy buenas noches a todos, good evening all of you. I would like to, to thank everyone who participated in this great exhibit. It was a true honor to have such important personalities during these past months. Furthermore, it's a pleasure to see that the University of Arizona has joined our festivities of commemoration of the Bicentennial of Mexican Independence and the Centennial of the Mexican Revolution. Thank you. Th thanks to our recollection of photographs, lectures, and music, we have enjoyed of an exhibition that helps illustrate our passing times and we, we were so difficult and important for our country. Quiero agradecer a todas las personas que participaron en esta gran exhibición para el Consulado de México, para el Gobierno de México. Fue un verdadero honor contar con personalidades tan distinguidas a lo largo de los últimos meses. Más aún, un gusto que la Universidad de Arizona se haya unido a nuestros festejos de conmemoración del Bicentenario del Inicio de la Independencia de México y el Centenario de la Revolución Mexicana. Gracias a la gran cole colección de fotografías, lecturas y música que han compart ha compartido con nosotros, hemos disfrutado de una exhibición que nos permite ilustrar nuestro pasado en tiempos que fueron tan difíciles y a la vez decisivos para nuestro país. Por favor, no dejen de invitar a su familia y amigos para que disfruten esta exposición, la cual seguirá abierta al público hasta el 20 de diciembre próximo. Muchísimas gracias a todos ustedes. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Valdez retired in June 2010 after 20 years as Senior Vice President for Business Affairs at the University of Arizona. Prior to that, he spent 16 years as Tucson's City Manager, and um, he was uh, the uh, Pima County's Public Library's downtown uh, building is named the Joel Valdez Main Library in his honor. He's been one of the University of Arizona Library's biggest supporters 
He has helped us through all that 20 years. Uh, we would be much diminished if he hadn't been here. And we appreciate his support. And we, we hope now that he's got a little time that he'll even hang around more at the University of Arizona Libraries. Joe? Thank you, thank you, Colonel. We would have noticed, I'll say in, in, in the English language here, for those who do not speak Spanish, Señor Consul, que un placer conocerlo, verlo otra vez esta noche. Uh, as Carla said, I've been, I kind of grew up in the library system when my father came to Tucson from the Museo and became, started studying to become a U.S. citizen. So he dragged me along to the old main library downtown and I learned quickly what the importance of the library was. So when I left the juvenile court in 66, I was appointed by then city manager to work with John Anderson of the libraries. And what began was great, began to build library branches. And I was forceful enough to convince the powers that be that we opened the first bilingual library, which is the Valencia Library down the south side. And also show Mexican movies because Urban Renewal had taken out the only theater that we had in town. So my heart is with libraries, as Carla says. During our budget cuts that we went through quite a few times, she always seemed to escape too many cuts <laughs> because I was able to convince the powers that be, I said, the boss, the president, the agents, that hey, the library is probably the last bastion. It sounds corny, but where else can you go and read and do and think and talk just like we're doing tonight? So my hat's off to, to Carla and the library staff who are having the courage to produce this particular program, a series of lectures, and bring to you and our public uh, evidence of activities in the past. My father spoke to me about what he saw on the streets, and my grandfather spoke to me about shotting Pancho Villa's horses. He was a blacksmith. But they all escaped. They came to the United States rather than wind up dead. So I don't know too much about it, but I do know my colleagues here are one of the best in the country. They do know that. They write about it. They study it. And I am very pleased to know that you're going to hear from the best, the maestros, you know? So I just want to thank you for coming. Uh, it, it's something, it's always a real pleasure that I helped build this thing too. <laughs> I don't know where we got the money, Carla, but we got, we got the money. It just came man up from heaven. <laughs> so we built this facility here. And we recently, I think, digitized all of Raul Castro's works, right? I think they're all digitized here for people to read. So. Raul Castro, the governor, ambassador, his papers are here, but in different forms. So I'm glad to see even a former library board member, Ms. Lopez, right here. Uh, anybody else, the library, library commission, anybody here in the library commission? You got friends of the library, I know. So my heart is with you. Heart of Carly, if I can, well, I donated some books, but if I can rip off a few more things, I will, guys. I'm still doing some part-time stuff for capital, capital projects. I will now turn it back over to Carla, or to, uh, yeah, both, and wish you all a very good, interesting evening. You're gonna, if you're going to hear and hear, and you're going to listen to some fine music, but you're going to listen to some experts, more than they always hold me. So, both. Thank you for inviting me.